Welcome to another new video. Let us talk about FPSOs and why they are the future for the offshore oil and gas industry. In this short video I will explain what FPSO actually means and outline what advantages there are compared to an offshore platform. So with no further ado, let us get right into it. So first of all, what does FPSO actually stand for? The letters FPSO stand for Floating, Production, Storage and Offloading Vessel. Sometimes they are newly built and sometimes a converted ship, mostly an oil tanker. It is a floating unit with crude oil and natural gas, one from the sea bottom. On deck of the ship, a first form of oil refinery takes place after having separated oil, water and gas. The storage takes place in the vessel's double hull before offloading to other transportation ships, so named shuttle tankers, or through subsea pipelines. An FPSO is anchored to the sea bottom to fix it on its chosen location. In order to be resistant to weather and wind, sea currents and heavy conditions, one can choose to apply a single mooring through which technique the FPSO can rotate freely. So when exactly do we use an FPSO and what are the advantages? An FPSO is highly suitable for deep water and ultra deep water fields. An FPSO is most of the time connected to several subsea oil production wells and obtains the oil through infield pipelines. Via these pipelines the oil is transferred to the storage compartment on the vessel. Now you understand what FPSO means and how it all functions. So let us move on to the next step where I will now explain why FPSOs are the future of oil and gas by naming you several advantages. A floating production, storage and offloading vessel is a type of floating tank system designed to take all of the crude oil or gas produced from nearby platforms, process it and store it until the attained resources can be offloaded onto a tanker. The FPSO's great advantage is that it can be moved freely and is therefore a more economical solution for more marginal fields in that the vessel can be moved to another development and redeployed once the original field has been depleted. Additionally, because FPSOs can be disconnected from their moorings, these offshore production vessels are perfect for areas that experience different weather conditions, for example hurricanes. Also, FPSOs are a great choice for development when there are no existing pipelines or infrastructure to transfer production to shore. Can you imagine the average semi-submersible oil rig takes 3 to 4 years to kit out and build, and a jack-up rig 2 to 3 years. Meanwhile, an FPSO could be rolled out in only a few months to a year. Furthermore, FPSOs eliminate the need for costly and expensive underwater infrastructure. In a situation where laying pipelines is not a cost-effective solution, the FPSO is particularly well adapted. Another great advantage is that FPSOs are idle for deep water drilling. Operators have to drill deeper than ever before to hit the black gold and deep and ultra deep waters are becoming the preferred choice for an oil thirsty world. In such areas where subsurface pipelines would be logistically challenging and export by shuttle tankers is increasingly expensive, an FPSO provides the best of both worlds as a tailored upstream and midstream unit rolled into just one. Another great benefit is that FPSOs do not have to be custom built. Not like a fixed platform, an FPSO does not actually have to start its life as an FPSO. The first ever floating production, storage and offloading unit was an oil tanker in its former life and many of its descendants are also vessels that have been converted from a transporter to a harvester of oil and natural gas and this again has a great cost saving benefit. And eventually, a floating production, storage and offloading vessel is more environmentally friendly compared to a fixed offshore platform. While many rigs have been in operation for several years and have a permanent ecological footprint, an FPSO can be designed and redesigned for more environmentally friendly field operations. 
These are all significant advantages and reasons why an FPSO is nowadays the preferred choice for deep water drilling and the future for producing oil and natural gas. Since the 1970s, FPSOs have been utilized in the North Sea, Offshore Brazil, Asia Pacific, the Mediterranean Sea and West Africa. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, then please give this video a thumbs up and let us know what you think about FPSOs by writing comments or asking further questions down below in the comment section. If you want to become an absolute expert in the oil and gas industry, learn everything about piping materials and steel components, you should definitely subscribe to this channel right now. I say goodbye and until our next video.